Hi everybody. Um, this is going to be my first video for my countdown. Um, and I know a lot of people have requested that or at least wanted me to try to hurry up and put some videos on here to at least try to keep you guys updated. Um, really didn't want to do it in the beginning but um, because my family is out of state and I am currently in Texas right now and of course really didn't want to just put all of my business out there like that so but now that everybody back at home does know that I'm pregnant and of course a lot of people came out to my baby shower I guess it was okay but you know things happen but I'm excited I'm super excited now um, I actually went had a doctor's appointment on today and it's just basically just a basic checkup pretty much um, she's doing just fine she was a little upset when um, the doctor was trying to check like to see where her head was and um, she we hadn't had anything to eat for breakfast because the appointment was kind of early and she gets a little upset when we don't eat anything so she was just kicking and moving and then she was being really stubborn when the um when my doctor was trying to get her heartbeat to check her heartbeat so she's just moving all around and I'm like I told her I said, oh, I'm sorry you know every time I go to my doctor's appointment I find myself apologizing for like the way my child acts so um, a lot of my friends say that she's already bossy and a diva right now. So that's possibly why my family decided to do a diva baby shower. But, I mean, it was all fun. And thanks for everybody who commented on the, um, the baby shower photos that I uploaded. I really, really had a lot of fun. Um, I didn't know they I didn't expect any of that I didn't know that they were gonna go all out like that before and um, I mean I really just had a lot of fun um, although I couldn't bring back everything with me I am the rest of it will be getting here on it should be here at least by tomorrow so I'll be excited about that so and then I have a second baby shower that will be on November 6th so that will be here in Texas and um, after that shower then I'll just upload pretty much or do a video on all of that that way I can just show you everything that I have so far um, let me see uh, for everybody for everyone that has subscribed so far thanks for that <laughs> I guess um, also um, I'm right now I'm trying to look for like pediatricians and I don't know if it's just me but I was looking into maybe doing like female pediatricians I don't know if I don't know I can't even think right now but yeah I just I don't know I just feel like I would rather want a female handling my child as opposed to a male because I think they would be a, like a little bit more gent a female would be more gentler than a man so and I don't want to have to go crazy on nobody just to be honest so we gonna keep it at this um but yeah I have a lot of different um pediatricians in mind I'm going to do a lot of research on them um, and I am going to interview them as well um, just ask them like basic questions and stuff just to try to narrow it down um, of course my insurance covers everything so it really doesn't matter um, what else um, I'm not on leave I wish I was but I'm trying to wait out as long as possible. Um, I do get 12 weeks of maternity leave with my job. Um, 
which is a, a big plus. So I'm like, well, at least, you know, some people only get six weeks, but hey, it just depends on what type of job you have, what it is that you want to do. I don't want to be off for six weeks. I think I need more than that. So, and it is full pay, so I'll still be getting like a full check for the um, three months that I'm out. Um, oh, I, let me get back to my um, appointment. I pretty much everything was just fine today. I measured exactly 32 centimeters, and um, so that pretty much just puts me at 32 weeks. So that does kind of I guess it kind of lines up because at first I thought I was 31 weeks, but she said it, I turned 32 weeks exactly on today, so everything's cool with that. Um, my blood pressure was fine. Um, what else? My weight. Let me tell you about my weight. Now, originally, before, I was 126. 124, 125, 26, somewhere along through there. And now I just turned eight months, so now my weight today was 146. So, I mean, I'm not that big, which is a good thing. And of course, everything pretty much is, I'm just all stomach. I don't, I'm not big anywhere else, so I guess that's a good thing. It really won't take much for me to lose it after, um, after she's born, um, her name, of course, if you, I mean, for all who watched the baby shower video at the end, I did put on there, her name is going to be Reagan Sanai, um, Reagan was just a name that, um, her father and myself pretty much just decided to go with, um, it was just a suggestion on my part, and he kind of just ran with it, so, then all my friends and family started calling her that. So I said, well, I guess, you know, she's Reagan. And um, so I'm excited about that. Um, I really did want a boy. I'm, I guess since it's like for this to be my first video, I have to keep or at least let you guys in on everything. And up, everything that's actually happened up until this point. Um, it's another video I'm going to try to upload later, pretty much just to show you, like, the pictures of, like, my stomach and pretty much everything that's actually taking place up until seven months, which would have been, like, a few days ago. I don't know. But anyway, um, so, yeah, I found out that I was pregnant, um, the day after my birthday, um, it was not planned, but things happen for a reason. Um, I was told for several years that I would not be able to have kids at all. Um, I did. We. I did try at least for one year with my fiance, but not, not, there nothing ever did happen. So, um, but of course just continued on, stayed prayerful, um, really wasn't worried about anything else at this point in my life. I'm 25 years old. I got used to the fact that, you know, I'm never going to be able to have kids. And now, when it did happen, I was in denial. I was, I didn't believe it. Um, my very first ultrasound, because I found out when I was eight weeks, well, yeah, I found out when I was eight weeks, and when I had my ultrasound done, I did not look at the ultrasound screen whenever they had the, um, when they showed the shoulder on the, um, forget it, um, oh, her heartbeat for the first time, I told them they were stripping. I said, I don't hear anything. I don't hear what. What is that? Um, I don't hear what y'all hear. I don't see what you see. And I, pro they probably want to try to take me into a like mental institution or something like that. But yeah. But um, 
I finally came out of denial probably around four months when I failed her move, um, which was at like 18 weeks. So I guess it's like four months, five months, somewhere like that. And um, I really wanted a boy, but of course, think God had other plans. So I'm having a girl now, and I'm extra happy that I'm having a girl. I didn't like the color pink, which is why I didn't want a girl. But the very first outfit that I bought her was this pink and gold baby fat outfit. So, and then I got a lot of pink stuff too for the shower. So, but um, I'm running a little short on time here, and I want to just bore you guys to death because it's just really not that exciting. But um, yeah, I'll try to keep you guys posted. Um, like I said, this is a countdown video, um, as opposed to maybe like a, a pregnancy diary. Yeah, because I didn't, I haven't been doing all of my videos from the start to finish. I'm just pretty much doing the finish, and then going forward um, for maybe the first year or so of her life and how motherhood is treating me. So, um, also, oh, before I go, um, I shout out to, um, Texas Mama and KCC on their births, um, of their little girls. I saw the pictures, um, of, I can't remember which one, might have been Texas Mama, I don't know, but she's so, it is Texas Mama, your baby is so cute like for real like she has like the prettiest cheek like her cheeks are just so big just like you just want to just squeeze it just oh my god so but I mean watching you guys this video really 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 makes me more excited and more anxious to um want to go ahead and and just get this go through this experience for you know I think maybe a once in a lifetime thing because I mean being pregnant is all fun and whatnot, but it's a lot of things that I wasn't expecting. What people didn't tell me so far, it's the changes and stuff that aches and pains and sores and all that jazz. Honey, please, I don't want to do this no more. So, uh, no. It's just, I mean, pregnancy may be for everybody, but I'm just not one of them people. So, me and Reagan, we're going to hang in there together. It's just going to be me and her, ride or die, you know. <laughs> I'm silly. I just like to have fun. I like to joke around. Um, and if any, if any of you guys have any questions about um, pretty much anything, um, just go ahead and you can leave it on my little comment box. Um, and, oh yeah, my, um, next baby shower that'll be here is Mardi Gras theme. Of course, it's Mardi Gras theme. Had to bring a, a little taste of New Orleans to Texas. So, we really gonna have some fun with that. Um, I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna start working on the party favors and, um, the, um, of course, the invitations and stuff are being worked on right now. So once I get finished, um, I will show you guys everything that I have so far and go from there. So um, that's it. Just um, everybody that's due pretty soon, I bet you're pretty anxious because I know I am and I have about eight weeks left. So, um, but yeah. That's it, and um, talk to you guys later. Bye.